What is Zack after? What's he trying to achieve? Yes. I guess we won't know. It's coarsely ground, so there should Can only we find be out what happened? four teaspoons per cup. No more, no less. Next, the coffee travels from the funnel to the siphon. Simon, normally you only do surveillance in order to gather data, correct? Hiding microphones and cameras, sifting through garbage, wiretapping, shadowing, tracing credit card histories. Mm -hmm. You'll do whatever it takes to gather data in order to prevent crimes. That's how the FBI works. Uh, well, yeah, you're right. No reason in hiding it now, I guess. <laughs> Why do you ask? Our Southern Bell has adopted a very peculiar M.O. It's almost like she has a special power, just like us. Mm. <laughs> You've been watching us this entire time, haven't you, Belle? From that window. I don't need to answer that question. Oh, he was saying that out loud. Came here on New Year's Eve. I thought he was speaking in his head. Spent 49 hours watching us until you returned to your hotel room last night. You observed us the entire time without sleep or rest. Why? And you only ate once. Some pizza delivered by Simon. Of course. I really quite want pizza now. Aside from that, you never drank any water or relieved yourself. You simply sat there and continued to watch us. That's not a very healthy you idea. You have visions, too, don't you? You came here solely to hear us talk, didn't you? But then... Why bother watching us for over two days beforehand? You didn't come to talk with us. You came because you wanted to see this apartment with your own eyes. Why? And because you're already convinced of something. Ooh. Isn't that right? He who fights with monsters should see to it that he himself does not become a monster. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. But I... Oh, coffee. Yeah, don't forget the coffee. Anyone take sugar? Thank you, my fairy. If you hadn't been paying attention, this coffee would have all gone to waste. I need a fairy to help me make coffee. The pus in our brains. It really has a way of interfering with our lives. Oh. Didn't remember. What the Christ? This is friggin' delicious! Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna shit myself for a second there. All right, Simon. Come on, Aaliyah, take a sip. Trust me. I'm not exaggerating here. Like the one thing he spends his money on is coffee. And DVDs, obviously. I... I don't believe it. It's better than any coffee I've ever tasted. Of course it is. Coffee is a sacred drink. Agreed. Coffee saved us. If not for its oracle, we would be on the other side right now. Mm -hmm. So I never forget to pay my respects to coffee. Oh, you and me are on the same low wavelength there, Zach. Especially at critical moments like this. Big black cumulonimbus clouds are in the sky, and that sound. Thunder snow is coming. Thunder snow? Cool. Do you hear that thunder? It's probably gonna snow soon. We're in Massachusetts. That's the norm for this time of year. Well, I'm not used to the cold. If possible, I'd like to finish this up before we get stuck in a snowstorm. Fair enough. Agent Jones, after we're done here, I... Agent Jones, is something the matter? He's put his hands back in his pockets. Snap out of it. Oh, sorry. What's going yeah, on, Jones? I know, I know. Do you? Then stop daydreaming. Okay, okay. I just... You just what? What's his problem? I just 
Uh, my stomach's been letting some... Oh, for fuck's sake. The, uh... That... It what? We don't have... He has to poop because of the coffee. The coffee was just so... Excuse me? What is wrong with you? Now is really not the time for this. Right door at the end of the hallway. Thanks, pal. Ooh, hold on. You can make it. We can do this. It's... This is more than I wanted to hear. Dokey. We promise you, we did not put laxatives in the coffee. Coffee is a sacred drink, remember? <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> There's no doubt that the report omitted information linking Morgan to the Clarksons. I need to get him to confess. What links into the Clarksons? Yeah. That reminds me. There's a secret weapon in Agent Jones's briefcase. Ooh. Agent Jones probably won't be back for a while. Mm. Actually, now might be my opportunity to make some real progress. Yeah, while Simon's having the coffee poop. To be fair, those are usually pretty quick. <laughs> Have you ever seen this before? What is this? Then please, don't say no. Is it the the red powder? The Saint Rouge? Saint Rouge? Yeah. The drug we once chased. What about it? Saint Rouge is still circulating. What? It's changed shape and its composition is slightly different now. But it's still very much alive. But only in a very limited part of Louisiana. Is that what our last job is? To eliminate it totally? You aren't surprised? Did you somehow know this would happen? Copies of another drug being circulated isn't exactly a rare case. But Saint Rouge is special. The inimitable Enigma Powder. The origin. It has many names, and no one was ever able to copy it. We've also been trying to figure out what it's made from ever since it appeared. It's made from red seeds from the red tree. But it's impossible to analyze. Duh. After all, it appears to be made from common ingredients that can be found anywhere. But if you try to use those ingredients, all you'll end up with is a mundane hallucinogen like DMT. Pfft, boring. If you're lucky. No. Saint Rouge requires a special recipe. The original recipe which someone's been guarding this entire time. Someone who survived the incident in Le Carré. Mr. Morgan, I heard that you were always a smoker. Did you ever wonder if that was the reason you contracted your illness? What does that have to do with this case nothing I'm just personally curious about it sometimes people die in car accidents regardless of how well they take care of their health other times they slip on their bathroom floors and crack open their heads <laughs> isn't that right my fairy some people are murdered by their mothers I'm not concerned with statistics I'm just curious about you right here right now we switched over from nicotine to this. It's less addictive. That's one step in the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, it's perhaps. Better. If we're talking about withdrawal symptoms or physical dependencies, but it still seems like you're smoking too much at once. Honestly, it looks to me like you have a mental dependency. All right. <laughs> Chill out. Maybe. But so what if we Yeah, I'm dying. Let me smoke. Surely you know about gateway drugs, yes? Ah, when a person this is where starts she's going. to use one drug, it becomes much easier for them to branch out and try other drugs as well. Mm. The first drug acts as the gateway that leads them to stronger substances. Oh. Are you trying to say that's going to happen to us? No. I'm simply saying there's a possibility. That would be a massive issue for us at this point in our lives, to be honest. Immediately after they found Lisa's body, I went to go see Patricia, in order to interrogate her, of course. So you told us. But I was unable to meet with her. She refused to speak with you, didn't she? Good old Patty. That's so like her. No, she didn't get the chance to. You see, she's gone missing. Oh shit. What? 
To put it more accurately, no one's seen her since the afternoon of the 28th. Oh no, Patty. According to her employees, she shut herself up in her room for several months before she disappeared. Uh oh. But since that sort of thing happened often, they didn't think anything of it. On the morning of New Year's Eve, they noticed her window was open, and when they went up to check on her, she was gone. But no one knows how long her window had been open for. This is just my hypothesis, but on December 28th, a strange man visited Le Carre and was spotted near her mansion. That man must have found some way to lure Patricia into his car, the 89 Cadillac that he bought used. Then, the two of them drove north to Trenton where they boarded a train to Boston. They would have arrived here around midnight on the 29th, or perhaps early morning on the 30th. Seems like we're extrapolating a bit I here. believe this man is the same Billy Bishop whose name was previously recorded by the airline. So, what do you think of my guess? I'd love to hear your opinion as a former FBI special agent. Don't know. Just a guess, innit? Ah, we get it. We aren't persons of interest. We're the suspects. But what about our alibi? What alibi? I've had enough of your bullshit. You expect me to believe you haven't taken a single step out of this room? That Agent Jones is your witness? Surveillance cameras can easily be tampered with. Especially by someone like you, who knows all about how the FBI works. You're possessed by death. Go and take a look at your own face in the mirror. Oh, that's you rude. look like the Grim Reaper. That is After really you rude. visited both Lucare and Greenvale, you left a mountain of corpses in your wake. You can make all the excuses you want. I'm immune to them. Right here, right now, I want to know everything. You tell me the truth. Yes! You're good, Bill. Oh, Damn we're doing a happy dance. I'm good. That's You're the, 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 brimming yeah. with potential. Don't you think she's the perfect partner for our last dance? What do you say, my fairy? Don't you agree? She's good. So good. <sighs> Getting a bit creepy. What do you want to know? We've got nothing to hide. Go on. Question us. This is how it's got to be. Sit back Doesn't down, Zach. This remind you of something? You know what I mean, my fairy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, at least he's on board now. Back to 2005. So this was actually... So I was going about it wrong to start with. And this is pre-Greendale. So we don't know about the red tree and the red seeds and stuff yet? How did this happen in my town? Oh, shit. God damn it! The head and limbs were severed and lined up, according to the lines that were drawn with her blood. Just like migratory birds flying systematically across the sky. Um. Hey, Zach, what do you think this means? They're severed roots. Patty, don't look severed at this. Roots? This is the way the Clarksons kill someone when they want to cut them off from the family. And how do you know about this? Everyone in town knows about it. They're just too scared to talk. What does the V stand for, then? Beats me. What, you think I know everything now? <laughs> Vilatatio. It means quarrel in Latin. That's what the V stands for. Thanks, Melvin. Latin. Intriguing, isn't it, Zach? Yes, there brilliant. are no defense wounds on the corpse. It's In other great. words, Galena showed no signs of resistance when she was amputated. But, strangely enough, there are small traces of subcutaneous bleeding around the wounded areas. That's a vital reaction, which means she couldn't have been dead. So she was alive when she had her limbs yes, chopped off right, as well. Yes, that's right, Patty. Galena was amputated while she was still alive. Great. And she never resisted. Is that even possible? It certainly isn't impossible. For example, if she was put to sleep with a drug, or if she desired the amputation herself. Why would she ever desire that? Mr. York, I'm sorry, but there ain't no way that could have happened. 
How can you be sure of that, Melvin? Our world contains phenomena that could never be explained with logic. This is especially true for phenomena in which humans are involved. Do you really think all the facets of love and hate can be explained with logic? Well, uh... No, I, I don't reckon I do. Yeah, might be too early to rule out those possibilities, just like you say. Zack, now we truly know just how deeply the Clarksons are involved with this. Patty, how long does it take to reach the Clarkson estate? Um, just a short drive. You just gotta head west along the Mississippi. You can't miss it. Got it. Thank you, Patty. By the way, Melvin, no matter how accelerated Patty may be, don't you think she's still a bit too young to see something like this? I'm glad we pointed that out. For the record, I have no intent to instruct others on how to raise their children, but... Holy moly, you're right! Patricia, CLG! Come on, sweetie. Kids shouldn't have to see stuff like this. Daddy, it's too late now. Melvin needs to get it together a little bit, I think. Galeno's meted in a holding cell. Cool. You sure you okay, CLG? I'm fine. Besides, I'm used to seeing stuff like that on CSI. Not the same, though, is You're it? You're the one who looks pale, Daddy. Well, it did shake me up a little. But I'll be back to normal in no time. He's alright. Uh, sorry about that, Mr. York. Meh. What say we rest in the interrogation room till we all calm down, CLG? Good sure idea. Thing, Daddy. I'm gonna go sit with Daddy for a bit, Agent York. We can join back up later. She's gonna <laughs> calm him down. Alright. Galena killed her daughter, so her family cut ties with her. Do you really think that's what happened here, Zach? I don't know. If this know. is truly the ritual that the Clarksons used to cut ties with someone, why would they go out of their way to do it here, in a holding cell? They could have easily done it after we released her. And judging from how Danny Clarkson was acting, I think it's clear that he really loved Galena. How could he accept this grotesque butchering, even if it was for the sake of the family? There's no point in ruminating on this. We should get back to the investigation. As long as we keep moving, the answer will inevitably fling itself straight at us. That does seem to be how York gets his answers. <laughs> Okie dokie. What a weird, weird mystery. Oh. Hoongan, buddy, need some tips. My main lead has been murdered. Hey, friend. You found the flying serpent. Yep. But now, the flying serpent will come to find you. Oh. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> and it looks like this flying serpent is a venomous one. Some become feasts, while others are eaten alive. Which fate would you prefer? Both sound marvelous, but let me check with Zack. Uh, they both sound sort of like the same thing, to be honest. A fine answer. <laughs> Find the one who fired the pistol at heaven. Within the white hall of beds, brandish the ticket to the goddess. And once again, you will see the other world. I don't want to see the other world again, Hoongan. Do you comprehend the oracle? No. <laughs> Zack, it looks like he's hell-bent on leading us back into that other world. I don't want to go back to the other world. The Follow other world sucked. the oracle. Oh, I will, Hoongan. <laughs> there are only two types of things in our world. Things that should be resisted, and things that should be accepted. And I believe this oracle is something to accept. <laughs> 
And there he goes. Bye, Hoongan. Do you think we're crazy for believing everything that skeletal gentleman says? I mean, he's been right so far. No, we're not crazy. Not one bit. This is our destiny, that's all. But I shouldn't need to explain that to you, Zack. I think we are a little bit crazy. We just happen to be right, so nobody's the noticed yet. The one who yet. fired the pistol at heaven. Firing pistols at the sky might be a rather common occurrence for the South. Remember? Thompson's Young Guts, farm. 1988, directed by Christopher Kane. There's that great scene where Emilio Estevez keeps firing his Colt M1877 up at the sky. Oh, but that film took place in New Mexico, didn't it? Yeah, that doesn't help us now. probably isn't referring to a situation like that. No, probably not. It's got to be for some purpose other than an attack or a threat. Raising a pistol up to the sky, then slowly pulling the trigger. Kind of sounds like the start to a race. Oh, yeah. Don't you agree, Zach? Does that help? Start to erase? I mean... I was going to try the Thompson's farm. Okay, cool. We're currently running a race here. And the one who started this murder investigation is indeed the one who fired the pistol at heaven. In other words, the person who first discovered the body. Okay. According to the files. Seems like a bit of a stretch, Lisa's but, okay. body was discovered by Chuck Thompson, a crawfish farmer. Okay. He apparently works out of a fishing hut located in the marshes south of the bayou. Got Let's it. go pay him a visit. Who knows? We might even get to see some crawfish. What? Why isn't the murderer the one who started this race? Zach, this isn't like you. Of course the murderer isn't the one who started the race. The murderer is running it. They're currently in first place. And they're breaking all the rules. I'm not sure and how far this metaphor Zach? is going to stretch. Oh, but if we go to the farm, we're going to have... Within the white <laughs> hall of beds. This one is even easier. The church? There are only a few establishments that have a whole hall's worth of beds, especially in a small town like this. I'm sure you've already got a pretty good idea about what the answer is, Zach. Well, now I'm not confident anymore. Beds all lined up? Only an amateur would hear that and think it must be referring to a brothel. I mean, come on. Who would ever use White Hall as a symbol for a bordello? No, a white house refers to the same place no matter what country you're in. You never disappoint me, Zach. Oh, thank goodness. I was starting to think it's that I was very facility. wrong. Yeah, because of the because it's the doctors in. They there. invite their patients into rooms full of beds. It's yeah. definitely a white hall where people are invited into beds. I think this one is less of a stretch. You I'm with you on this. You managed to impress me with your intuition. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm really counting on you here, Zach. And I know I'll always be able to. Anytime. Well, until you bugger off without me. All right, we did it. We we figured out the oracle. Hooray! Agent York, you're trying to leave without your trustworthy assistant? No. Hello there, Patty. I'd never attempt such a thing. I was working at an oracle from I the skeletal gentleman. I was simply engaging in a battle of wits with Hoongan while I waited for you. Hoongan? Yes, the skeletal gentleman in the top hat. Not that story again. Is this how you always conduct your investigations? Yes. This is the way I work. I bet you can't find a single partner. Not even in the entire FBI. That's Aww. not true. Bit mean. I always work together with Zack. Oh, right. Zack. Don't worry. I'll be your partner while you're here in our town. Well, thanks, Patty. Now, let's go investigate. It's nice that she sees that I'm clearly insane and just is fine with it. All right. Well, I do need to get a checkup for a side quest, so I guess the church would be useful for that. What a stressful day. 